some of the feedback that uh, the school had got back from employers and universities was that a lot of the Grove pupils weren't great with the practical side of engineering. So I think this was a lot better to get a bit of experience sort of actually doing hands-on work. I'm the CEO of Deep Sea Dundee, the engineering programme, where this involves pretty much starting with just a piece of paper and just writing down designs to what we'd build a ROV, which is a remotely operated vehicle, and we'd compete in um, this mate competition against other schools around Scotland. We traditionally at Grove run a, right up to advanced higher in this department. We have five subjects and it meant that we were pretty well committed, so changing something was difficult. But I liked to drop advanced higher engineering science, which was a really difficult thing to do. And because of the response we'd had from Robert Gordon and Dundee University when we'd spoken to them about it, and, and they were needing kids to be able to take the theory that they had learned in engineering science and subjects like that and actually do something with it. And it fitted really well with the ROV project and it, it fitted so much so that um, in a sort of eight month period they were immersed totally in an engineering project that would, if it worked out the way I wanted it to, it would kind of almost consume them, you know, it would get to the point where it was what they really wanted to do. Yeah, so we were in three days a week on the timetable, so Monday afternoons, Wednesday afternoons and Tuesday mornings. Since we finished school now, We've been in most days, coming in just in free time and working on it. I've like learnt to take like a more leadership role, and like actually what it's like to sort of be more in the workplace, working to deadlines. Uh, first, gain more confidence in it. You like viewing your ideas, putting them out there, seeing how they could improve your uh, projects as a whole. One of the best things we got with the course was just being able to sort of work as a team with people you never usually would sort of work with on something like that. Because there's so many different types of people that are part of the course. And I think that's really good because it shows the practical side of like engineering, not just a theory, and it would help, which could help you later on in life when you're trying to find a job, when you're working for different companies. We got to go up to go see NCR for a day and we got um, toured around their facility and we got a lot of help from some of their engineers there, especially with the electronics inside the sort of the main part of the ROV. Uh, stuff I've learned from this is like problem solving, so like when something inevitably goes wrong, like finding a way to fix it. Currently, it's, I wouldn't say it's running as smoothly as we want to now. I think there's always improvements, so. Yeah, there's a lot of trial yeah, and error. Yeah, there's a lot of trial and error, but. Trying something and then going back and it's worse yeah. than it was when we first started. And then you try to fix too many things at one time. And it, it's worthwhile, it's a lot we're getting out of it. It's much better than getting a qualification that you could get anywhere. This is experience that a lot of places are looking for and you need to spend years getting that. Whereas managing to get a kickstart of making something that's advanced like this, it's impressive for the open doors. We went to Aberdeen RGE University to do the competition. There was, I think, five or six other teams there that were competing against and we managed to come on top of all of them. That's like the first day of your competition, so like you'll go there, We'll have like our Scotland flag, like all the countries from around the world will have all their flags. It's like an opening ceremony similar to the Olympics. Um, and once we've done all that, we'll get in the pool. Then the second day, we're also in the pool competing. And then on the third day, for the first half day, we find out like the winner. So my role was just developing the control system, the program, and getting a controller that the pilot Ewan found comfortable and easy to use. The most important factor is like NCR looks this as a social responsibility because these kids when they come out they graduate they are the potential candidates for coming back to the industry so it is a two-way process which is like giving to the uh, education system or giving to the society and getting back from the society uh, next year i'm going on to go to uni at dundee and i'm doing the course of engineering i'm doing marketing at Aberty uni in Dundee. And I'm hoping to do business management at Aberdeen Uni. Uh, so next year I'll be going to Strathclyde University to do a joint maths and physics course. So I do think some of the practical stuff I've learned will be good to apply to the physics side of my course next year. Hopefully I'll be going to Strathclyde University to study electronic and electrical engineering. Uh, I'm hoping to do an apprenticeship in marine engineering with a company called TK.